On the big story tonight, we continue our campaign Justice for India's Daughters on the gruesome rape and murder of a 24-year-old physiotherapist rape and murder case in Mumbai a week later. The Mumbai police still has no leads and has made no arrests in the case. But following magic breaks, now sustained coverage. The Maharashtra government has finally woken up and taken cognizance of the case. Almost after a week, the representatives of the ruling party BJP finally reached out to the victim's family on Tuesday morning. Disha Shah gets us the latest. It's a week now and the police officials are still struggling for clues in a case of a 24-year-old physiotherapist who was raped, brutally murdered and then burned to death at her own place in Villepale in Mumbai. It's been a week now and the police still claims that there have been no leads, no suspects and of course zero arrests have been made in this case so far. Even on uh, Tuesday, police claim that there are in uh, all eight police departments who are working and closely monitoring uh, this uh, case but and they have investigated and questioned as many as 300 to 400 people but still they have not been able to get uh, that lead even on Monday uh, the police had examined uh, the uh, medical uh, test on few of the suspects and they were given clean shit because the, uh, nothing suspicious was found in those medical reports so they say that absolutely now they are left with uh, no leads and the investigation is on in fact uh, on uh, Tuesday we also saw the government officials uh, making a uh, presence uh, here at the Villepale police station and also they met the victim's uh, family to uh, after almost a week uh, China NC and Niranjan Shetty, both the representatives from the government, from the BJP, they came here, they met with the police officials and the victim's uh, 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 family. And lastly, the, uh, when we spoke to the victim's family, what they told us is that they have already registered a complaint here at the Villepale uh, police station as to how anybody can reveal their daughter's identity. So they have asked the police to investigate that uh, matter as well. This is Disha Shah reporting here from Magic Picks now. On the big story, we're joined in by social activist Brinda Adige, who's been a part of our campaign for justice from day one. Thank you so much for joining us here on Magic Breaks. Now, tell us this. Now, it's been a week. There has been no arrests and no leads so far. What do you make of all of this? This just goes to show that even though there has been so much of coverage in the media, the family has filed a complaint and has sought for answers from the police. The system continues to make excuses. The system also gives lip service. There is a little bit of knee-jerk reactions from the politicians. But other than that, no action. Even day before yesterday, yesterday we spoke saying that the commission, the Women Commission has the mandate and the authority to take sumoto action against the uh, print media or the other media that might have uh, revealed the name as well as the photograph of the victim. An action can be taken but doesn't look like any notice has been given. Why is it that this complacency, this apathy towards women, why is it like this towards the safety of women in our country and in Mumbai? Now, Ms. Adige, uh, this is not a story of just one uh, city. Over four years ago, we saw the Nirbhaya case happen. The case is still on. There has been no justice to the victim as yet. Do you think this uh, case uh, in the city of Mumbai is turning out to be another uh, one of those cases? It seems to be turning out like that. Because we are seeing yesterday also when we asked what systems have they put into place to see that if such a case occurs again, the culprits will be nabbed immediately. They would have enough data, they would have enough profiling to go and catch the culprit, go and investigate, book, but nothing, none of those things have been done. What has been kind of a lip service that has been given is the police are investigating, they did not get any leads and even there the friends and family have been uh, questioned in a manner that is derogatory, that has mean-mindedness, again putting women down, again talking about their dressing, where they were parting, their mobility, who went out, when they came, did she smoke, did her friends smoke, I mean, all of this just goes to show that the conventional patriarchal structure 
has not broken that does not seem to be any dent made over there they are not looking at it that it is the constitutional right of women to be treated with equality but when a crime has happened a crime has been committed where is the system what mechanisms are functioning we are talking of ourselves to be digital india but what has gone wrong is it just the perceptions is it just the attitude or is it the will not to function not to give justice yes, again, now tell me this now after one week uh, the, we saw the uh, finally that uh, Maharashtra government has reached out to the victim's family. Uh, in fact, we reached out to the state government. We spoke to Ms. Poonam Mahajan who refused to comment on this matter. Uh, at the moment, we have absolutely no idea what uh, you know uh, measures the state government is taking to ensure uh, and assure uh, the women of Mumbai uh, that they are safe. Uh, what are your comments? Reaching out to the family is no charity. It's not a favor that has been done by anybody. This should have been the first step to assure that everything will be put into place so that the culprits are nabbed. Okay? Now that the state government has reached out to the family, well and good, but that is not enough because women are still afraid, are scared. The fear factor continues to intensify. There is no assurance given by any party, any government in our country that you do not have to be afraid. That these things have been put into place. That something has began to work. The sensitization program that people talk of is yielding some result. That there is efficiency that is being put into effect rather than questioning women's mobility rather than talking about protection in this patriarchal mindset rather than seeking to continue to make this woman feel second class citizen feel bad about her self image and feel bad that she is a woman never giving her that status that she is an equal citizen of democratic India this is a constitutional right so what is the government talking about what have they put into place Talking about that itself, uh, uh, you know, uh, one thing about women's safety and uh, the measures the state government is taking to curb uh, such crimes in the future. Of course, now the Bombay High Court has gone ahead and asked the state government to file an affidavit on this uh, by the 21st of December uh, to, 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 to sort of uh, bring about steps uh, such that these things don't happen in the future. Do you think that's going to make any difference? Well, it is good that the court is going to be asking them to put measures into place. But we already have legislations which are not functioning. We are also having certain systems that do not function effectively. What has happened to the women's helpline? What is happening to the special courts? Why is the court process so tedious? Why are procedures so cumbersome? What has changed as a result of Nirbhaya? If that, that could be our pointer, if that could be the place that we want to ask questions from because the entire nation challenged the government. We haven't changed too much since then. What safety measures have been brought in and how safe do women feel? It was on your channel that a lot of women spoke, a lot of young women spoke of eve teasing that is happening on the streets that when police when they go to the police station their complaints are not taken in fact they are looked at as somebody who have must have provoked to be eve teased or to be assaulted what changes have we brought we have looked at a politician who sat on your tv and spoke in such a derogatory manner he had nothing to talk about either respect or talking about women with dignity. He was just trying to get an a one man uh, upmanship with um, the other party. Nothing has changed. There is a lot of these talks that are happening. What started functioning? That every woman, every child can feel safe. That no, we... is the question to the government. Ms. Adige, now we talk about uh, safety measures, of course, and several panels. We saw the Dharmadikari Committee uh, being set up in the past, uh, but it's also about implementing these rules, isn't it? 
exactly the implementation sanctions that are there are also not effective they are not efficient you can't simply have a telephone line that is not attended to by somebody who is trained who is professional who does not have these perceptions and attitudes that demean women that subjugate and oppress women further none of this has changed this continues and a lot of the time the government of our country the bureaucracy of our country treat the citizens as if a favor is being done they forget that it is the citizens taxes that pay for everything they are government servants that they are supposed to be attending to the citizens and not think themselves as lord and master of this nation of 1.2 billion population that has to change this is an entitlement it is not a favor all right ms adige thank you so much for joining us here on magic breaks now you can watch live tv on our website mbnow.in find us on facebook at facebook.com forward slash magic breaks now and don't forget to click the like button you can also follow us on twitter at magic breaks now to stay updated with all our programming hit the subscribe button on our youtube channel by logging on to youtube.com forward slash magic breaks now